Thanks, Joel. And on behalf of the entire Killer Whale training team, we'd like to welcome you to Orca Stadium. I've been an animal trainer for eight years. And let me tell you, being an animal trainer isn't just a job, it's more of a way of life. We've all dedicated our professional and personal lives to the care of these amazing killer whales. It's the ultimate honor and privilege to be able to care for, teach, learn from, and build relationships with the whales in our care. We're excited to share all we've learned through our relationships with all of you tonight. So ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy Orca and Catherine. interconnected ocean. A vast blue expanse, critical to life on Earth. And there's no better animal to represent the ocean's beauty than the killer whale. They live in every corner of the ocean, from the Arctic to the Atlantic, the Southern to the Indian, to the Pacific and beyond. The killer whale story is the ocean story, and it's one we all share. We are one world, united by our ocean.
Hi, everybody. That is our killer male family, showing off their size, speed, power, and problem-solving abilities. These behaviors keep the whales active and engaged. SeaWorld's killer whales have inspired generations to care about our natural world, and we are excited to share their story with you today. Killer whales are the ocean's top predator. They use cooperation and communication, not just size and strength, to take their place at the top of the ocean's food web. At the bottom are small animals, like krill. At the top, the apex predator, the killer whale. Killer whales are as big as a bus, faster than an Olympic swimmer. High flying and powerful. We're going to see all of that today and more. These and other behaviors provide an environment full of enrichment. We spend days, weeks, months, and years building relationships with our whales. This creates trust, and that allows us to do some amazing things. For example, when you visit the doctor, you present your arm to draw blood, or step on the scales and see how much you weigh. It's much the same with our whales. Throughout today's experience, you'll see the killer whales moving together in unison. These synchronized behaviors strengthen their social bonds and allow them to problem solve as a group. This is just another reason why they are known as the ocean's top predator. Their scientific name is Orsinus orca. Their common name is killer whale. And Arabine whales have their own personal names. Takara, Sakari, Kamea, and joining us Right here, we have Kayukin and Tuar. Kamea is our youngest whale at just six years old, and her mom, Takara, is our oldest whale at 28 years old. Takara is the matriarch of our whale pod, which means she is the leader. These whales trust us, and they take an active role in their own health and well being. Through the use of positive reinforcement training techniques, we teach them husbandry or healthcare behaviors. And joining us right here at the slide outs, we have Laura and Emily to demonstrate some of those behaviors. That's right, Kim. I am over here interacting with Tuar, who is one of our 20 year old males. Tuar here is going to be demonstrating one of those husbandry behaviors called a flute present. This is an extremely important behavior and one of the very first behaviors that we teach the whales. Not only does it allow us to get a good look at his entire body, but it also allows us access to their easy to see things right here on the underside of their tail flutes. Our veterinarians can collect a blood sample at least once a month to make sure that our whales are staying healthy. And the whales are conditioned to remain calm just like this throughout the entire process. Throughout our presentation today, you may notice our trainers giving the whales back rubs just like Brittany and I are giving to our here. Killer whales have very sensitive skin, and it's just one of the ways that we can continue to build our relationships with the whales. Thanks, Emily. I'm across the pool, joined by Kai Yuki, who is the largest member of our killer whale family. And how do we know he's the largest? Because we have another important diagnostic tool, which is weighing the whales. Once a week, we ask the whales to slide up, just like Kayuki is demonstrating, on a whale size scale in one of our back pools. With the whales are in that side out like this, you all may notice that a large portion of Kayuki's body is still in the water. This area from his dorsal fin all the way down to his tail feet is called the peduncle, and it can weigh several hundred pounds. So in order for us to get an accurate weight on him, we simply ask Kai to lift that tail out of the water, and that way we can get a more accurate weight on him. And as of Tuesday morning, Kai weighs 9,520 pounds. Now these weights are extremely important because it makes sure our adult whales, like Kai Kit and Two R, are maintaining a healthy weight. And our younger whales, like Hikari and Kamea, are growing properly. Now these weights and bloods are just two of the very important husbandry behaviors that we teach our whales to make sure that they are healthy and thriving. And the care isn't just physical. Mental stimulation and play are vital. And 
be surprised and engaged with our whales at every opportunity. Play is how killer whales teach their young to hunt, and for the adults, play is important too. It seems that they just enjoy having fun. Making time for play is an important part of life for killer whales and for us. I am down here at the bus with my new friend Zaire, all the way from Houston. Yes! Zaire, killer whales learn necessary life skills by following their mothers and other members of the pod. This type of learning is called observational learning. And today, we're going to see how whales uh, can follow you, just like when you play the game Follow the Leader, kind of like observational learning. So he's going to watch you and he's going to do the behavior. You think you can do that? You do? Okay, let's try it. Ready? So I'm going to have you take this hand, put it straight up in the air, and give him a great big wave. Awesome job! And two more minutes, you can see he's paying close attention to you and mimicking you. Now we're going to have you stomp your feet up and down like you're marching in place. Come on, too. <laughs> All right, how about a little bigger, like you're marching. There you go. And two are going to mimic you and do the same. You can stop. Ooh, you're getting exercise in today, aren't you? Since you did so good, how about you toss him a fish? Why don't you hold that and toss it right up over the glass? Good job. So killer whales can see well below water and above water. They can often be found doing behaviors such as spy hops and then dropping out of the water to get a better look at their surroundings. Are you ready for that hand signal that I taught you before the show? Okay. Chuar is watching you, so go for it. Yes! Good job! So Chuar is going to take off. He's going to go 40 feet all the way down the bottom. Come over here and look. Do you see how deep it is? That's pretty deep, huh? Do you see him? Okay, now take a step back and he's going to jump right in the center of the pool. Thank you. 
attack animals like penguins or seals from ice fields. Most importantly, they cooperate, communicate, and coordinate as a team. Here's footage of killer whales corralling a school of herring. A whale dips in and feeds, while the other whales keep the fish together with swipes of their tail fins. In the ocean, killer whales create waves to hide. They use blood slams to stun prey, and they can even beach themselves up and out of the water. For these whales, it's a fun demonstration, but for you, it's time to get
we hold the future of killer whales and the oceans in our hands. Killer whales continue to surprise and amaze us. They're the perfect ambassador for the ocean, limitless, connected, powerful, but still vulnerable. We can make a difference. The ocean needs our help, and that seems overwhelming. But together, we can make it happen. There's so much to learn. So much to protect. So much to explore. The killer whale story is still being written. And there are simple things we all can do to make a difference. All it takes is one. One choice. One ripple that can grow and grow and change the world. Together, we've got this. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope that by joining us today, these animals have inspired you and deepened your appreciation for killer whales, just like they have for all of us. We will continue to learn from them, and we hope that you will too. Thanks for being with us. We hope you've had a great day at Zero. Goodbye, everybody! Follow us.
Rescue Group on Facebook and Instagram. Keep track of our latest rescues and find out more about our animals in our care. Thanks again, everyone, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day at SeaWorld.